Hey, this is Teratoots with a quick tutorial on importing terrain from Gaia. Gaia is a terrain generation software with some really neat tools for creating some epic landscapes and terrain features. So let's take a look at how to pull those generated terrains into Terragen. We'll start out in Gaia with one of their example scenes, Stax Mesa. We're going to want to export both the geometry and color from the scene to Terragen. To start out, we'll right click the Stax node and click Mark for Export. This will allow us to export a height field of this terrain. Do the same thing for the Combine node at the end, which will give us the colors. Next, come to the Build tab on the right and make sure the export format is set to 32-bit TIFF for maximum detail. The maximum resolution of the export will depend on which Gaia license you have. In this case, we'll stick with 4K. There's a few different options for the altitude range which will change the specifics of importing the result into Terrigen. I've had the best luck with RAW so far. Also note the height and width of the terrain at the bottom. We'll need those later. Click Start Build and wait for your export to complete. You should get a new folder with several different images, depending on what you chose to export. Here we have the main terrain from the Stacks node, as well as Flow, Deposit, and wear maps from its erosion that we can also use if we choose. We also have an image map of the terrain colors from the combine node. Now, come into Terrigen. I'll disable the default terrain to give us a blank slate to work with. I've seen several different methods for loading Gaia terrains, including loading the terrain as an image map and displacing that way. But I've had the most consistent results from loading as a height field, so that's what I'm going to show you today. First click Add Terrain, Height Field, Load File, and choose the erosion image we created earlier. Next, we'll add a height field resize node and resize the height field to 5000 by 5000, the size of the Gaia terrain. Following this, add a height field adjust vertical node and multiply the height by 2600 the altitude of the Gaia terrain. To see more clearly, I'm also going to turn off border blending. Now we can right click and center on our new height field shader. At this point, you should have terrain that looks pretty much like the terrain you had in Gaia, if perhaps a little less detailed from the export. Now let's bring in the colors. Add a new image map shader and select the color image from our export folder. Open the shader, set to position center, and change the size to 5000 by 5000. Now we can see the color map from Gaia overlaid on our terrain. Gaia is still a relatively new program. So I'm sure this process will continue to evolve, but for now, here is at least one way to import your Gaia terrain into Terrigen.